back pain. It can be caused from a multitude of different diagnoses, from the simple to the very severe. However, if it's starting in your lower back and radiating down one of your legs and even into the foot, it sure could be sciatica. Sciatica is a sharp, burning pain that almost feels like a stab that starts just above the hip region, can go down one leg, even down into the foot. What it's caused from it can, is compression of the sciatic nerve. What commonly happens with that is you're getting a situation where you have either degenerative joint disease or a ruptured or a herniated disc in your back. That can lead to the compression on that nerve, which then in turn leads to the pain. People that are more prone to that are those older in age, pregnant women, overweight people, or people that have had a history or a family history of back problems. Also, bone spurs can come into play too as well. Now, for treatment, there, there's not a lot of permanent damage that can be done by having sciatica, but there is a lot of treatment and even non-drug treatments that may help you out. First off, consider movement. If you're sitting or standing a lot during the day, that's going to make you more prone to sciatica. If you're bending and, and uh, lifting a lot during the day, you're also going to be more prone to it. So make sure you lift with your legs and make sure if you're sitting for a prolonged period of time, you're also standing and moving about as well or vice versa. If you're standing up a lot, sit down for about 10, 15 minutes. With this one, acupuncture, massage, and chiropractic are great sources of relief. The other thing that you can do is remember to treat it with ice. On for 20 minutes, then off for 20 minutes. You do that for about two to three days, straight ice, because you want to decrease the inflammation. After two to three days, then you can apply heat. On for 20 minutes, off for 20 minutes. But you need to do the ice first. You need to remember, you need to make sure you stretch out every day before you go to work, especially if you're doing strenuous activities. The more you stretch, the less likely there will be to be a pinch on that nerve and cause problems. Exercise. A brisk walk, some cardio, cardiovascular exercises, something to keep the movement so you're not going to be prone to this injury from repeated movements that's occurring at work throughout the day. As far as medications, things you can take. You can take the non-steroidal, so like ibuprofen or naproxen or the generic Aleve. That, that's fine. Remember to walk, take it with food. Also remember if you have any heart conditions, discuss that with your doctor. Tylenol is okay to take as well for pain. If you have more than that, consider talking to your doctor. They do treat these with tricyclic antidepressants such as nortriptyline or amitriptyline. Remember with either of those drugs, they can really dry out your mouth, your nose, your eyes, and your gut, so drink a lot of water. They can make you dizzy or drowsy, and you can have trouble with alcohol, so watch out for that. They all, it also can be treated with gabapentin, which again can make you drowsy, watch out with alcohol. If it's really painful, you may get a burst of steroid or prednisone orally, or they can do injections as well. Some other tips to consider. If you have a soft mattress, change it. A hard, firm mattress is the best to prevent sciatica. Sciatica generally will last about four to six weeks. As you're doing the things that I mentioned before on a daily basis, it should go away. If it's extremely painful or continues beyond that, contact your medical provider. You may need to get an x-ray, a CT, or an MRI, 
or a combination of both to rule out other possibilities that are more serious. So you want to make sure you're in contact with your provider to get that done. The other last option would be surgery. They can do surgery to repair herniated discs as well as to relieve pinches on that nerve that may be just a congenital anomaly from when you were born, that, being born that way. Physical therapy is another good option once the sciatica goes away. When you're having that flare up, you're not going to want to go to any physical therapist because it's going to hurt. But as the sciatica goes away, you're getting back to your normal life, able to move around a little better. Definitely consider physical therapy. They're a great prevention from future episodes.